uh, let's talk about how to be a ACSM, which is Advanced Certified Scrum Master. We are going to cover about the certification, enrollment and training, important tips based on my experience of the certification, and finally, certification benefits. So about the certification, who are the intended candidates? This certification is for leaders who hold a certified Scrum Master, CSM certification. So that is the first need. You need to be a CSM certified before you try to get the certification. Second, it is for the folks who are actually doing CSM work. So there is a need to have at least a year of CSM experience in last five years. And you have to document that in the Scrum Alliance website. We're going to talk about that in detail. Next, let's talk about official requirement. As we discussed, you got to have a CSM certification and then you need to attend a two day certified training. Along with this training, there might be a pre or post coursework. Like for my experience, when I did, I was given about five to six hours of coursework as a pre training. It was sent to me, I think seven days in advance. There was a bunch of big videos and some questions to go through before the certification. And this is important because once you go in the course, the first question they ask is, have you done those pre course work? And there is a mechanism for them to see how many folks have done that. If you have not done it, they will make sure you do it within those two days. So it's better you do it before those two days because it will be a little bit overkill if you plan to do it within those two days. Also, it helps you to understand the concept when those are discussed if you have done this. And also, they will ask you to validate of your 12 months of work experience specific to the role of Scrum Master. For that, you need to go to Scrum Alliance where you will have your profile already because you are a CSM certified and then you need to mention there your experience in the experience tab. And the good news is there is no exam. In CSM, when I did, there was an exam we have to do after the training, but in this case, there is no exam. So you need to do the pre-course work and you need to attend the two days training. We are going to talk more about that, how to do it, but yeah, there is no exam to get this certification. Now, why should you do this? There could be a couple of reasons like you want to refresh your knowledge. Let's say you did CSM some time back and things are changing now and uh, you want to refresh your knowledge. So it's a good certification. It could be a work requirement. Now CSM becoming more common and then the next one in this path is ACSM. So sometimes it's a work requirement to have ACM certification. It helps in building network because the good thing about this certification is in that course, there will be like 30 to 40 people from different industries who are following CSM and it's a good networking opportunities to connect with them and learn from each other. And finally, there are some advanced topics on Agile and Scrum are discussed here as the industry is changing. There are real time topics are discussed which can keep you up to the speed. So I see there are a good amount of benefits of this certification. Now about enrollment, cost and time and commitment. The cost varies for this. What I have seen in US at least there are courses available from $400 to $1,200 time to time. Some people are giving offers and it also depends how early you book, you get some discount or sometimes you get a group discount. And um, I'm going to show you how to enroll. And about time commitment, the two days are the official course time, two full days, like it was exactly like nine to five kind of two full days. And also there is like a pre-work as I mentioned and sometimes post-work. But in my case, it was more of pre-work, five to six hours. I have mentioned two to three days of commitment is required. And the course option, you have both virtual and in-person course option. And enrollment, you can do online enrollment. Let's see how it looks when we enroll for this certification. So this is the official website for Scrum Alliance. And uh, you go to the top, the certification, explore certifications. So these are the certifications here. As you can see, we have advanced CSM and uh, it is uh, on the track of CSM. You should have CSM first, then ACSM and then the CSPSM. So we are interested in ACSM. Let's uh, find a course. So here you can see all the course option and the filter, whatever you want to pick it up. So for example, let's say this course, which is FL4 to 5, and eight hours each day. Let's see more details around that. Yeah, so here you can see it is uh, 
995 dollar course and it gives you 16 SEU, PDU, CDU, I think because it's 16 hour course, so you get it. We are going to talk more about this down the line. So this way you can enroll. Let's see some other, we get a different price. Let's say this one. Here it is given for 780. So that's how you register. After you register it, you get the email and all the details for that. Now based on my experience, there are some important tips which can save your time as well as your effort. First one is email address. When you register for your course, make sure you use the same email which you have used for your CSM. Otherwise, it is not going to recognize that you are a CSM and at the time of getting a certification, there could be issues or then you, you may need to follow up and merge the account to make your CSM and CSM in both in one account so that it can recognize that it's the same per situation. I saw folks struggling who use different email addresses for their CSM and ACSM registration. So make sure you use email address. I mean, if you have already done with a different email address, it's not end of the world. You can work with the facilitator. There might be some follow up needed. You can merge the emails, but if you are about to register, make sure you use the same email address which you used for your CSM certification. Now, as I mentioned, there is no exam. So how do they measure that you have done the training fully. What I saw that there are multiple facilitators. There is one main instructor and also there are like two facilitators who will keep an eye manually as well as using the tools to see how much engagement you have during the sessions. So and your engagement during the session is very important. Otherwise you may end up not getting the certification of completion. So you should participate as much as you can and make sure you are attentive to the lessons as well as the exercises. So most of the time uh, folks are uh, split into smaller rooms. For example, when I did this, there were like 30 folks taking this and most of the time we were put it into small breakout rooms of five to six members to do the exercises and then again come back to the bigger class where the instructor discussed the exercises. So even when we are in the smaller rooms, facilitator will randomly drop to the room and see how much everyone is participating. So participation is important. And these are interesting uh, sessions. So it's not that you will feel bored. But at the same time, since there is no exam, this is how they monitored if you are participating and engaged in the course because they got to certify you after two days. Now break option, this is my personal experience. I had to take a call with a customer during this two days session and that was like one hour. I have to go out and um, finish the work. So I checked with uh, this that what is the official guideline for that. What I came to know is that any, everyone is allowed at the max two hours away from the course in the two days. So I was told that uh, if one hour is fine, you can go. And before going, you need to tell the facilitator, I am going at this time so that they can time you. And once you're back, then you tell them I'm back so they can time you again. And as long as your total time out is less than two hours for the two day session, you are good. And finally, Scrum Alliance website. This is an important website. As I showed you where you register yourself using your existing CSM email. Also, you put your um, experience there under experience you mentioned i have 12 months of experience doing csm kind of work also in this website you can later download your badge or uh, scrum guides as well as the course documentation this is how it looks like so here you can put a specific role based experience where you select what kind of role you have played like for example i have put hey i played scrum master role from this year to this year and this is the what kind of work I have been doing. So, and you certified it and save it. So this is how you save Scrum Master specific experience in Scrum Alliance website, which is another requirement as we mentioned. Okay, so what are the benefits of this certification? First, you digital badge. Definitely you get a digital badge and this certification is valid for two years. Second, you get a bunch of PDU SEUs um, since you're putting 16 hours, two days, so 16 PDU, SEU you get, which you can use for your other certification, like PMP, you can use PDU, SEU, you can use for another cert Scrum certification, renewal as an education 
hours. Also, one very good benefit I found is it auto renews your existing CSM certification. So as you know, CSM has a requirement to renew it after every two years. But let's say your CSM is about to expire in two months and now you do ACSM. So ACSM won't only just give you ACSM for two years, but at the same time, it renews your existing CSM for two years for free of cost. So that's a good benefit. And finally, as I mentioned, it helps you building the network. Folks in this course are experienced CSM and they are willing to initiate connection with you, LinkedIn connection with you so that you guys can be in touch and build the network. These are the benefits of the certification. I hope you like this video and uh, it clears some of your doubts for this uh, CSM certification. I wish you good luck. If you have any question, feedback, share your comments down. Give it a like and subscribe to see videos like this and more. Thank you.